when you sit with the intention of what many call meditating we'd like to offer a different label to it because there's resistance even in the idea of that but if you can decide that you want to quiet your conscious mind enough so that the non-physical mind that is purely focused upon all that you've become and the wholeness of who you are if you can find a way of tuning into the vibrational frequency of that those vibrations once you learn to sit there for a little bit within them will begin to turn to thoughts and when those thoughts come you will feel and understand while we don't want you to focus very much upon them the pleasure and the satisfaction of that thought and as you sit there not distracted by current what you want to call reality but experiencing the whole of your now vibrational reality what's in your vortex will be able to make its way into your manifested world through the pathway that is your non-contradicted mind does that sort of make sense to you so have you ever sat to meditate do you sometimes do that are you doing it on a semi-regular or regular basis and when you sit to meditate when someone suggested to Jerry and Esther that they meditate as soon as they got away from that person in the car they said that's just weird <laughs> Jerry said I think of myself more as a business person <laughs> meditation just seemed weird to them that was many years ago and to many it still seems weird today but it's because there's not an understanding of what it means meditation if you understand it and you're about to will take you back to the core vibration that is unchallenged by beliefs that are keeping you from what you want meditation will take you to the vibrational frequency that your inner being is and as you're able to maintain it for a little bit law of attraction will bring momentum to that so when we talk about law of attraction what we're really talking about is momentum we're really talking about you being at some starting point and law of attraction bringing the next and 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 the next so if you're irritated by something law of attraction will bring you more and 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 more of things like that if you are in love with life law of attraction will bring you more and 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 more of that but you are we love you so much you are we love you so much you are sloppy in your thinking you are reactive in your thinking you are letting everything in the world be the reason that you are offering the vibration that you're offering and then you are in opposition to what you really want you can't get there from there so when you sit to quiet your mind at first it's very difficult because your mind has been trained to be responsive to your environment but when you quiet your mind and what that requires is focusing upon something quieter Esther sat to meditate yesterday and she had a load of clothes in the washing machine and a door closed but she could still hear the clanging and the banging of the zipper on the jeans and it kept her from being able to withdraw from her physical experience just something that simple and she thought well it'll stop in a minute but it didn't it was an hour and 12 minute cycle <laughs> and so it wasn't a good choice of a time or a place for her to intend to quiet her mind if your telephone's going to ring it's not a good time or a place to sit to meditate you want to find a time when you are not likely to be interrupted in a space where you can really control the environment a bit it's good if you can shut out the things that you're mostly physically attracted to so as you sit in this comfortable position it doesn't matter what it is as long as it's comfortable and as long as you believe that you can maintain it for at least 15 minutes without needing to worm around sit in a comfortable place with one intention and that is to let your mind be still and when your mind wanders and it will just focus upon the idea that you want your mind to be still now we have noticed as we've watched so many of you that it is really helpful if you can find something to focus upon that isn't much to think about 
like even a ticking of a clock is a pretty good thing or the dripping of a faucet is a pretty good thing or if you want your eyes to be open it's really better if they're closed a flickering of a flame it doesn't matter what it is as long as it's not very much so it has your attention but it doesn't bring a lot of attention you get the idea find something that is easy for you to focus upon that's not very thought-provoking and then just focus on it until you receive the sign that you have quieted your mind and that sign is a physical visceral feeling of detachment from this time and place it feels like numbness it feels like floating it feels like a suspension of gravity it feels like detachment it feels like soothing it feels delicious so Esther is sitting there and once she achieves that state she begins to realize that some intention other than her own is making motions with her physical body in other words she's not deliberately thinking about what she's going to do with her physical body something else is that broader perspective is that quieted mind is and once she feels that detachment and begins to feel that and you will you will in a day or two or three or four or five you will feel that and here's the advantage to you when you get to that place where you are mindless you are thoughtless and the non-physical part of you now is the dominant part of your vibration you are in a state of utter well-being just for a moment and you are not doing anything with your physical noticing with your physical senses that's distracting from that base of well-being now you see the thing that's so wonderful about allowing it might take you 15 minutes to get there and you might only be there a minute or two before your meditation time is up but that's enough it doesn't matter how long it takes you to get there it's just important that you get there because when you get there you have pushed the reset button you have given yourself an opportunity to have detachment from the vibrations that are hindering you and that rut that Esther found in her knowing what she didn't want and trying to find what she did want is now a little softer it's less likely that she's going to stay in that rut once finding that you see what we're getting at we can feel that you're not feeling very engaged in the idea of this but the reason that we're sticking with this subject anyway even though you might be feeling little resistance to it is because we know that if you will allow yourself that quieted place it's like a high-rise building that somebody has told you is not steady on its foundation and so you just put more rebarb up in the top of it and more concrete and try to guy it out maybe to, to sky hooks or to other buildings or maybe to the ground but if the foundation of that building isn't secure it's not going to stand in that secure place very long and neither are you and meditation will take you back to your primal not quite the right word but you know what we mean to your grounded not quite the right word but you know what we mean to the very base to the core of you to the vibrational center of that which you are to the goodness that is you to the whole that is you to the vibrational reality that is you to your inner being who knows everything that you are wanting and knows where you stand in relationship to everything that you want so now you find that vibrational place that sort of detached place and once you are pretty good at getting there have you ever gotten there you know what we're talking about once you are pretty good at getting there what you will notice if you will allow yourself to stay in that vibrational place for a little bit is that the vibration will begin to turn to thoughts thoughts will begin to occur to you and you will know the perfection of those thoughts because of the way they feel as they come across your mind now when the thought comes don't try to think about it you're in the receiving mode receive the thoughts receive the thoughts let your vibrational reality and your inner being be the deliverer of the thoughts you are the receiver of the thoughts and as you allow yourself to be the receiver of the thought and you don't contradict the thought by oh, I wonder if that was my thought or if that was my inner being's thought or I wonder if I really thought that or who thought that or was that a good thought or was that a bad thought I don't even know if I'm thinking good thoughts or bad thoughts I'm not sure <laughs> just let it be and as you just let it be law of attraction and momentum will cause that thought 
to become more and more and more until an idea will explode in your mind that will make you say, this meditation's over, I've got places to go, things to do, people to see. In other words, you'll find yourself very soon feeling enlivened for the day. And it doesn't take more than about a week of that, and we're only talking about 15 or 20 minutes, before as you begin your day like that, then everything in your day, these ruts that you've been in relative to different relationships or different situations, will begin to soften out. They will begin to dissipate. The problems will dissipate. And if you don't get too carried away in taking score of what's dissipating, and instead you just enjoy, you just find the satisfaction factor in finding your clarity and your strength. Oh, oh. Besides what's happening with your mind, you allowing thoughts to turn to things, your physical apparatus is being rejuvenated. You are in the replenishing mode. Everything about your experience is being enhanced and improved because you are allowing yourself a respite from the contradictory thoughts that you didn't even know you had that are in the form of beliefs that you've picked up along your physical trail in defense of the world that you are defending yourself against. You must be defenseless to be in the receiving mode. And that feels so weird because that sounds like, oh, but what if there are bad things trying to get me? And we say, the thing is, no bad things are even after you unless you're thinking about them. So when you defend yourself against them, you're putting more thoughts that you need to defend against. You sort of kind of get what we mean by that? There is no law of assertion. There's only a law of attraction. Nothing is being asserted into your experience. It is all being attracted into your experience. And so... Oh, such a good time to return for a little while every day to the true nature of your being where you allow the full force of goodness and wisdom and clarity to demonstrate in your day-to-day -day experiences. It is our promise to you that you will notice an improved manifested state right away. But we don't want you to take score because we want for a little while your attention to be off of your manifested state. We want your attention for a little while to be upon your vibrational basis because vibrations turn to thoughts and thoughts turn to things. And the satisfaction factor of releasing resistance and sitting there in that soup of well-being is satisfying. And when a thought comes into your mind that's about well-being and love, when it's a thought that you can't even articulate, it's just a feeling of well-being, that's a satisfaction. And when that thought turns to a thought of something that you're appreciating and you allow yourself to just ponder that thing that you're appreciating, there's satisfaction. And then when that thought gathers up another thought or two and you begin to feel enthusiasm in your experience, that's satisfaction. Action. And then when you move out into the day and your timing is better than it's ever been, that's satisfaction. When you find timing everywhere you go, that's satisfaction. And you're the only one that will be witnessing it because you're the only one that really knows what you've been asking for. But as it is demonstrated to you, not because you finally deserve it, but because you finally allow what you do deserve. So we know that was long. We also know it is the most important thing that you've ever heard because friends you're trying we know you are you're trying to break through but you're not starting with enough momentum start back here and you'll gain the momentum that equals the energy that creates worlds and one who is connected to that kind of stream is more powerful than millions who are not you can be a force for the goodness that you are. You can be a demonstrator of the well-being that is for everyone to receive. But you've got to allow yourself enough momentum that you are not distracted by the next thing that comes along or the next thing that someone says. So, we are eager to talk with you about what matters to you. If it is important to you, it is important to us. We think that given what we've just been talking about, that we'll have more satisfaction, you will have more satisfaction as we're moving along.